I know Chiggs is in here recording. So. No Chiggs moved in here, right? So whatever you oh, say. Sorry, you know Chiggs gonna have, have everything up there. Whatever you say, Chiggs gonna be on YouTube with it, man. Golly, man, why is everybody so bent out of shape over this complex list? Now, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, the list did kind of trigger me a little bit. Seeing some names on there where you're like, wait, how did you even get, oh, okay, it's a complex connection. That makes sense. Now, you guys know DJ Envy was not too happy about the list. He was very, very vocal when the list came out. Now, apparently, Gillian Wallow also are not too happy about the list either. Because this week, when Charlemagne and Envy went on their podcast, they did not hesitate to take some shots at Joe. Now, I'm just going to play a small clip for you guys. You guys can go listen to the full thing on Spotify or wherever you guys consume podcasts. Gillian Wallow, they were ranked number four on the complex list, which, depending on how you feel about them, some of you guys may agree, some of you guys don't. Personally, I think they should be somewhere in the top three. Not too mad at them being number four. But it seems like they do not care about their list. All they're focused on is who is really getting that bread. Which podcasters are really getting that chicken. And they claim that they're number one on that list. Here's what they said. But Gilly Wallow are doing very well. They're doing Don't okay. I'm doing what else, nigga. <laughs> Don't fucking play with I love it, man. Nigga. That's the type of shit I like. Let, let, let me tell you something. We try to change the game no, no, for Hold on, hold on. Let me tell you something, Envy. I don't give a fuck about no list, Envy. You hear me? Because you know why? I'm just... I'm, and I ain't taking no shots. I'm just telling the truth. Listen. Don't compare us to nobody that ain't stopping in the middle of their motherfucking podcast and saying, this episode is brought to you by <laughs> Omega Accountant Solutions. <laughs> Now let me tell you about Omega Account Solutions. Yeah. This episode, a million dollars worth of game, is brought to you by New Amsterdam Vodka. <laughs> now it's the steal five times, it's filtered three times for that clean, clean fish. Hold on, wait. This episode, a million dollars worth of game, is brought to you by oh, man. Manscaped. <laughs> Hold on. This episode of Million Dollars Worth of Game is brought to you by Roman Swipes, nigga. <laughs> Hold on. You want us to keep going? Because I can say 18 more of them motherfuckers. Talk that talk. And Charlemagne. So when you out there creating your funky ass list, you leave us off unless you talk about the paid oh, list. Man. And we can do a paperwork part. <laughs> Talk to me. And I would say this, y'all. I mean, we only do 52 shows a week. Yeah, we don't feel One hour. Yeah, that's it. We, One like, hour. we like power. Wait for us the next week. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? Oh, this man. is power. I love to see I'll it, see man. you next Sunday no, yeah, at nah, 730. Nah. But I will say this. I will say this. Really, while I'm getting to at, it. At, now, you guys know Joe Budden has been very, very vocal about podcasters that take ad money. He claims that it not only ruins the audio experience for the listeners, but as Joe calls it, you're kind of selling your ass for a couple of dollars. Joe has been very vocal about refusing ad money. He does not want to be reading pre-rolls and mid-rolls and end-rolls on his podcast. I guess Gilly has been feeling some kind of way ever since Joe said that. Wallow also took a small little dig at Joe saying that, hey, we only do 52 podcasts a year. Compared to Joe, who not only does two podcasts a week, but Joe also does two to three Patreon episodes a week. In addition to that, he's now doing a YouTube live with Queen's Flip. Who knew Walla would bring a little bit of smoke, huh? Now, as far as Charlemagne, Charlemagne has remained silent on the whole Joe Budden complex list. If you guys remember, Joe Budden and Charlemagne are not on good terms. After getting mad at each other for speaking on each other's contracts when they were trying to negotiate for a better contract, they made a promise to each other to never speak on each other again. So for those of you guys that are wondering why Charlemagne has not spoken on the list, there you go. He's not mentioning Joe because if he talks about the list, he's going to have to talk about the person that's number one, and that's Joe. When you walk away, you get more. Mm -hmm. We walked away from that. I'm going to tell y'all something, man. I knew this beforehand, but uh, Gillian Wallow is the highest paid black podcasters in the game. That's not what the list says. Man, you know, don't worry about the list. Don't bring that stupid shit. Don't worry about the list. We don't worry about the list. Exactly. Me neither. He saw our, he saw our paperwork. Up. Me neither. And we own everything. Worry worry. And we own everything. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm just saying, you see what we walked away from. Uh, you see what we, we walked see, away uh, from. Word up, word up, word up, word up, word up. Uh, and that was cool. contract. That was cool. We said what? We said what? Well, we said what? Well, you know, I heard that from a white person before I heard that from Gillian. And then lastly, if you guys go listen to the podcast, 
Charlemagne did eventually talk about ownership versus partnership, which again was a huge talking point for Joe. Charlemagne actually falls on the opposite end saying, hey, being partners with somebody on something that's worth a lot of money, it's a lot better than being an owner of something worth 0%. Now you guys can make your own interpretation regarding these shots. These guys could just be potting or they could just be simply stating how they feel about Joe. I'm sure Joe's not going to be surprised here in these shots. Being a top podcaster has become very competitive. So being number one in that lane and having people take these shots at you is just the price you pay for being number one. So what you guys think about this man, push comments below, squat my channel, like this video. See you guys later.